Good day. We're talking to Judge Bernard Mwepe, who's also the retired judge president of the North Gauteng High Court. There are a number of issues that uh, the judge raised in yesterday's um, memorial lecture on Robert Sobukwe. But now we want to also talk to the judge into matters pertaining to the TRC processes, the amnesty committee, and what could also be um, regarded as some of the uh, shortcomings by many. Judge? What would you say was the actual punchline for you yesterday in the lecture that you, you delivered? I, I, I think the, 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 the main point was that uh, it's important for us to record history properly and accurately. And that means that uh, we should uh, take note of the activities that, da that were done by our great leaders, all of them, including Mr. Sobu, because it is from history that young people, future generations, get inspiration. So it's absolutely important uh, that uh, history is recorded properly. And I think that's the point that I really want to make. And would you say there's enough of an, of an, an attempt at this particular moment? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think so. I think there is still... There's, there, there have been some good attempts to record history, but I think a lot more needs to be done, a lot more research has to be done, and, and there are just too many things that uh, have not found their way into our history, as they should. The, I'm talking the history in particular of, of the struggle against apartheid. So, for example, I was shown a book yesterday uh, about uh, the history of the struggle in the Northern Cape. And I page, page, went through a few pages, and uh, some of the things were news to me. I had, I, I had never heard of that before. So that's the point that I'm making. Let us go into details and record these things so that we don't forget our past, where we come from. Talking about that history of Utata uh, Robert Sobukwe, um, you'd, you'd also know that uh, he passed on in Kimberley in 1978. Um, it, largely in preserving that legacy, preserving the history, uh, his heritage, um, the town of Kimberley, or the city of Kimberley largely, cannot be taken out of the equation. And this is exactly where he stayed with um, Umama Veronica. Umama went to the TRC, King Williamstown, 1997, uh, to tell her story. She largely believes that Utata was poisoned. Um, nothing came of that particular part of the TRC putting it to you as uh, a former Amnesty Committee member of the TRC. Um, wouldn't that also stand out as a, a failure of the TRC in some way to give truth to what could have transpired? Well, yes. Well, perhaps there could have been some uh, limitations in terms of resources and the like. I don't know. But certainly, if an issue like that came up, and by the way, she was not the only one who suspected that uh, Sobe could have been uh, poisoned. She was not the only one. Some of the issues, issues like that, needed to be followed up. Not necessarily, not necessarily because they would be proven right, but even if it could <coughs> be found that he had not been poisoned, that in itself is important because you put certain doubts and suspicions to rest. And that's part of good history. Um, you dispel certain certain things. Very much the same, take for example allegations that as to how Samara Marshall died. To this day, that family uh, still uh, feel, feels that uh, the truth hasn't come out. Take for example also uh, the case of uh, the late uh, Chief Lutuli. And at one time, I had some interesting discussion with one of his grandchildren. Um, and there is the feeling within the family that uh, the truth, the whole truth, hasn't come out. So some of these issues need to be gone into just to make sure that uh, people's minds are put to, to rest. That in itself is an important lake of history. Would the judge be the kind of... Uh person or proponent to, to, to basically call for a large-scale inquiry um, 
looking at the legality of, of all of these matters, looking at the prosecutorial aspect to do with what the TRC could have handed over, what the Amnesty Committee could have handed over to the government to say, you need to move in, bring these people to book. Yeah, not, not, not a general inquiry. I think what, what is needed is further investigation. Not an inquiry, further investigation of certain issues that were raised and left uh, um, hanging, as it were. For example, the, the kind of, 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 of issue you have raised about the alleged or suspected poisoning <coughs> of the late Sobuko. Deal with it, not as the, in the form of inquiry, but investigate into it and see what comes out of it. In other words, dedicated investigation of each case as it comes. Um, of course, you can't have the resources to investigate every allegation, every suspicion, but uh, you've got to prioritize your issues. There are some issues which uh, may be of national, national importance. They may make a national impact on the past, the present, and the future. Mm -hmm. So you need to go into those things. Um, the, the example you've given is just one example. So there are many others. But again, one must recognize that um, uh, the resources may be limited and, and the, 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 the manpower may also be a problem in the skills. Each case, and each case would be the demon inquest yes. coming into play. Yes, it comes out, and then what do you do next thereafter? After that inquest, maybe follow up and see where you can prosecute people if they are still there so that finality or closure could be reached. Um, it's, it's important that certain issues are dealt with uh, to the end, you know, so that we know exactly what happened in the past. Unless you investigate with dedication, you investigate certain issues, then you'll never know what happened in the past. So you'll never know your true history. You are, your true history will, will always be incomplete. Judge, cutting short, the, you were part of that amnesty committee. The Northern Cape never had any round of amnesty hearings, despite over five human rights violation hearings that were conducted in the province. What do we say? Um, I, I don't know. I, I'm not so sure whether, as the amnesty committee, we did not come here to, to Kimberley. I'm not so sure I can. That I can that. confirm. <laughs> yes. That I can definitely confirm. Yes, uh, and and I'm not I'm not sure. Of course, I would know whether the truth and the conciliation commission itself did ever come to mm. to Kimberley. I, I don't know. That. I'm sure you know better than mm. I. The one that was chaired by the Archbishop. Mm. I don't know if they ever came to Kimberley. Um, there were human rights violation hearings in Kimberley, DR, Colesburg, Hanover, Uppington. And in Uppington, it was clear that files were destroyed. Uh, in Kimberley, there were allegations that from the top most of um, the uh, police, that mm -hmm. there was instruction given to the perpetrators, mm -hmm. um, those that were alleged to, to mm -hmm. have been the perpetrators, the violators, not to, yeah. to yeah. even apply um, for amnesty. Yeah. And uh, in follow-ups, uh, even with um, the commission's uh, investigative head then, uh, to be San Sebeza, it became quite clear mm. from the advocate that uh, nothing came of um, what people actually took to the TRC. Yeah. Well, have, having emphasized the importance of investigating uh, issues that are still open, I must also um, uh, hasten to say that it is a challenge because uh, the nation needs to move on. You cannot live in the past. A process of uh, reconciliation and, and moving on is very important. So some balancing is needed. You can't investigate every little thing, I imagine, and we need to understand that. Firstly, as I said, because of limited resources, and secondly, um, the nation needs to move on and, and put the past behind it. But of course, it must be the known past. Um, yes, but some balancing is needed. We must be careful not to think that we can investigate everything. But as always, things, 
Some things are more important than others. So we need to identify those that are important and then perhaps direct our energies to that. Thank you so much for this Thank exclusive you. opportunity. Yes. Yes. Okay. And all of the best. Thank you very much. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much.